Um, hello, guys. Good morning. Thank you very much for coming to the Kubernetes AI and HPC Day. Um, and my name is Udre from Bloomberg, and uh, my friend Ricardo from CERN will uh, co-chairing this um, event today for you, and thanks for joining. Oh, and also, by the way, if you are a speaker, please come to sit in the front row, so it will be easier throughout the day. So if you're a speaker, please sit in the front row. There are plenty of seats here. Um, I'd like to talk about the code of conduct today. So the golden rule, treat others as you would want to be treated, so with kindness and respect. Um, and there will be refreshment and lunch. The refre refreshment, snacks, and lunch will be picked up in W190 for you or W196 for you outside of the session room. Um, for those of you who need uh, captioning and translations, there's a QR code you can scan, and it's AI-generated uh, captions and translations. Um, and also, uh, we are opening call for papers for next year's KubeCon Europe. So um, next year's KubeCon Europe will be hosted in Paris on March 19, and the call for paper is already open. Uh, and it will close at December 3rd, someday. So submit your proposal now. Um, so Kubernetes AI and HPC Day um, is, is an event that focusing on processing data, creates insight, and help make the world a better place. Um, and then I'm going to hand over to Ricardo to talk about cohort paper categories. Thank you. So welcome, everyone. Uh, I think this, this, uh, this is uh, at least the fifth or sixth uh, event um, in HPC and AI area. Uh, and we joined forces this time. So the, the CFP was a bit different than usual because it includes um, things like best practices for processing massive amounts of data, use cases for batch workloads, but then also MLOps and, and, and um, uh, FinOps for ML. Uh, some topics are obviously common uh, to the two, so that's the reasoning from, for, for joining it this time. Uh, things like GPU and hardware device management. So we got, we got a really nice uh, set of submissions. So uh, for the next event, make sure, make sure you keep it up. Um, and we'll have an interesting uh, event here. So I, I just took the, just the titles of, uh, of, of the, um, the sessions. So we have 11 full sessions and six lightning talks today. Uh, if we look at it, of course, Kubernetes is, uh, is referenced quite often. But then we have things like uh, uh, some tools, like Kubeflow and similar. But the, the topics of interest of everyone is, is things like training, uh, batch. Uh, um, of course, uh, scheduling is very important. Um, and advanced scheduling and all the, the new features and tools that have been developed in the last couple of years. And then the more recent uh, trends like LLMs. Um, so we have a bit of everything today. Hopefully, it will, it will fit all, all, all your interests. Uh, a quick reminder that uh, there's, uh, in addition to these events, there's, there are existing communities where these topics are discussed often. Um, so the three last ones, the three bottom ones, have been there for a while. So the Batch Working Group on Kubernetes uh, and the Batch System Initiative in the CNCF, which kind of hosts and, and gathers all the, all the projects in this area. And then for the more scientific computing or research computing uh, community, the CNCF Research User Group. There's also two interesting discussions, and uh, everyone's feedback is, is very welcome on uh, creating. So there's a cloud native AI working group uh, discussion, and there's a proposal to create a new um, technical advisory group in the, in, the, in the CNCF technical committee. So if you want to learn more of what this is about, get involved or give your opinion, uh, please, please join the discussion there. Uh, so there's a growing list of projects in this area. This is not an exhaustive list, uh, just a reference so that uh, we, we know what we're talking about. So there's, there's uh, projects that are more related to batch and scheduling, like Armada, Q, Volcano, uh, Karmada Unicorn, that have been there for a while. And then there's uh, projects more dedicated to, to AI and ML. So Kubeflow just um, uh, joined as an incubating project uh, this year. Uh, KSERV is actually not in the CNCF right now, but it's in the LFA, LFAI. And there are projects in the sandbox that uh, start targeting uh, more uh, niche areas of AI and ML, like HGPT, which is currently in sandbox, but got a lot of traction. So if you're interested, uh, go. And uh, if you want to join the communities and help out, either giving feedback or contributing, 
you're very welcome, of course. Uh, another thing, discussing with Yuzuri, uh, preparing this event, we were thinking of, uh, today we'll hear a lot about what people are doing and we will get references of what the challenges are, but maybe you, this is also a good event to, to connect to each other and during the lunch breaks and coffee breaks, uh, maybe we can discuss what are the open areas where, where there are gaps in the, um, in the projects and the stack that we have available. And uh, so that we can start discussing and, uh, and guide the community to, to, to work on those areas. Uh, we came up with things like multi-cluster scheduling, which is more for the batch uh, HPC community, but also for ML. Uh, model monitoring, feature stores, uh, responsible AI. It's a big topic, especially for uh, governments and, um, and policy. And then LLM integration. So if you end up uh, in someone's table, I think these are nice, nice topics to cover. Uh, and finally, we'd like to thank uh, the program committee. So there's a, there were a team of people reviewing all the sessions. Uh, thanks a lot for all, all the work. And uh, like we, we never referenced this, but there's a very large uh, Linux Foundation event staff that uh, also we have to thank for the organization. And I think that's it for the introduction. So uh, we hope you have a great day. We'll, we'll go immediately to the first talk. Thank you. Thanks a lot.